Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? I'm making another video here of my beta microstomas. And this is a pair of beta microstomas that this is a wild cut male that I got about two months ago. And this is a F1 female in the back that if you've seen in my previous video, had a bunch of them uh, go out here with me. So the reason why I'm making this video is because in the years that I've had microstomas with me, I've noticed one thing, and um, it they they eat me pretty much pristine uh, water or water with a very low uh, pH, uh, very acidic, and that kind of stuff. And not so much because that's what they like, but that's what they thrive on, and their skin uh, looks much healthier when you have it in this type of water. One of the things I've encountered is that they tend to uh, get a lot of external parasites, especially if you expose them to uh, to a light, if you have them like in, in tap water and things like that. So one of the things I've done to combat that is I've been using a UV sterilizer. If you can see it in the back, uh, this is a 5 watt UV sterilizer. It is uh, rated for 40 gallon, but I have it here in a... Uh, uh, 10 gallon to be honest with you. This is more rated for like a uh, Probably like a 20 gallon. I don't think that you know that the power of that st uh, of the water of of The power head will be enough to move water in a 40 gallon But anyways the reason for that is that the UV Sterilizer sterilizer sterilizes the water of course and it kills all the bacteria that are there that can harm the fish so one of the things I notice is that whenever I have a UV sterilizer sterilizer in the water with them the male like I'll say about 70 to 80 percent of the time holds full term so you know since I only use top water I don't use our old water uh, so I decided to go this route to so just use the UV sterilizer, uh, put it in the tank, and um, let it kill all the bacteria in the water, and and then take it from there. As you can see, I have some oak leaves in the back. Uh, it's, you know, it's, of course, it's sucking up the the oak leaves. Um, one of the things that you, the UV sterilizer does is it makes the water pristine clear. And I was just a little concerned that it was going to get rid of the tannin in the water, but it actually didn't, which is a good thing. Uh, I've been using UV sterilizer for almost six months, almost a year, uh, since uh, my sick were getting, my fish were getting sick, and a friend of mine suggested that uh, maybe using UV sterilizer would be a good idea. And ever since that, whenever I notice that any of them are showing any signs or sickness or anything like that especially the macrosomas. I put in the UV sterilizer and not only they get better but I, I see that they start breeding right away. So this is one of the things I've been doing. Uh, and so what I also do is whenever I'm going to change do a water change for my uh, juvies or my other uh, young max, what I do is I, I sterilize the water first and then do the water change. To prevent, you know, adding, um, you know, top water that could have contaminants or could have uh, bacteria uh, that could actually harm the fish, and that's what I've noticed. You have lights and top water as a recipe, uh, recipe for the for the saster, and not only that, but you know, since they that's what they prefer, pristine, clear water. This allows them to uh, reproduce a lot. Uh, faster in, in my in my observation and I mean I I swear by these things by these UV sterilizer I think that as long as I use macrostomas so long as I keep them I'm gonna use the UV sterilizer another route you could do it as, as I said is just go 90% RO water and remineralize it and things like that but I, I don't want to go that route I just prefer to go this route uh, I'll keep the UV sterilizer there for a couple of days. Then when I want to remove it, just move it to another tank and so on. I actually have two UV sterilizers. What well, This is a uh, rated uh, 5 watts and I have a 9 watts, which is a lot bigger than that. As you can see, 
uh, 5 watt fits comfortably in a 10 gallon or in a uh, 20 long of course in a regular 20 it will be perfect uh, but these are some of the things that I'm doing here in my fish tanks just want to share these things with you uh, how I, I've been successfully uh, cured my max when I've seen them stress sick and stuff like that just put in that UV sterilizer and it's this is like magic within a couple of days I show I see start I start seeing signs of them getting a lot better and not only that they just look happier and they just they just thrive you know what I mean because one thing is just to have the fish and another thing is just have them thrive look at this male how beautiful he looks um, these guys have been together for about a week I actually I put them no maybe more maybe more than a week and as soon as I put them together they spawn and the male uh, swallowed well three days later but now I put the UV sterilizer in the hope that this is gonna uh, you know hopefully he'll hold full term next time I actually have fries from this guy from her sister so I'm planning to spawn it spawn him with her now and as I mentioned these are F1s um, these these girls are about two years old she's much bigger than him not much a little bigger than him um, but he was able to spawn with his sister who's think slightly bigger than her so he, he should be no problem one of the things I mentioned as well when you're breeding microsomas make sure that they're not too fat because that also impedes the male from actually embracing the female fully and uh, fertilizing the uh, the eggs therefore he'll, he'll swallow right away so that's another tip but I just want to give you an idea of some of the things I'm doing up here in my fish tank uh, I have this uh, UV sterilizer here with a power head uh, so you can see it causes a little bit of a uh, water motion but not too much because he is they're doing fine and I'm actually I'm gonna feed them for you so you can see how healthy and how hungry they are so pretty much what I'm gonna feed them now is the these worms or these uh, something that have invaded my uh, my uh, grind the worm culture so I decided just to kept them going and actually there you go feed them to my fish and there you go rich in fat actually these maggots thing is some sort of sort of a fruit fly or something but look they love it so uh, like I said, I just invaded my uh, grind the worm grind the worm culture, so I was like, you know what, I might as well just keep on feeding them, and then I'll feed my big fish with them. They love it. Look, look, look how crazy they go. But uh, just wanted to make this video, show you what I'm doing here in my fish room. Take care, everybody.